Welcome back, Kim Sim here, and this is Teacher Kim's Korean class bringing you the best lessons on social media. If you want to level up your Korean language skill, take a look at my YouTube channel. I'm uploading informative Korean lessons twice a week, like pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar, just like this video. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. From the previous video, we have been learning subject particle E and ka. We learned the basic concept of subject particle E and ka and polite one, geso like 누가, 아빠가, 선생님께서 And in this video, we are going to continue to learn the subject particle E and ka, how they work with things and objects. Let's dive into the subject particle right now. In the previous video, we used the pronoun 누가, which means who, to make a question sentence. In my opinion, when you learn new basic Korean particles, you'd better start from question sentence before narrative, because both sentence structures are usually the same. You can just put the question mark at the end of sentence. But question sentence show much better concept, the exact meaning of the particle. So now we are starting from the question sentence again. I want to remind you the pronoun that we already learned in lesson 1, 무엇 and 뭐, which means what. 무엇 is formal and 뭐 is much casual expression. And if you attach subject particle to them, they become 무엇이 and 뭐가, right? And here is one more important expression is 있다, which is one of the most frequently used with subject particle. The word 있다 basically indicates existence like there is something or something is, something are. In English, 있다 is dictionary form, so if the ending words 어요 is attached to 있다, it becomes 있어요. It looks like more natural and conversational. So here are the question sentence. 무엇이 있어요? or 뭐가 있어요? What is there? Look at the picture. There is something. 있어요? 뭐가? What? 뭐가 있어요? There is an apple. An apple is 사과. 사과 있어요. But it is not complete sentence. The pronoun 뭐 of the question sentence has subject particle 가. So, in the answer to the question, we need to attach the subject particle to the noun 사과. 사과가 있어요. An apple is or oh, there is an apple. 있어요. There is something. 무엇이? What? 무엇이 있어요? What is there? Ah, flowers. 꽃. 꽃 있어요. The question sentence has 무엇이. The subject particle here. So in the answer to the question, we are gonna attach subject particle e to the noun 꽃. 꽃이. I attach e because the word 꽃 is consonant ending word. So 꽃이 있어요. Flowers are or there are flowers. Actually, it is apple flowers. 사과 꽃. I like it. So we can say 사과 꽃이 있어요. An apple flowers are. Summary, we use 가 있어요 or 이 있어요 when you want to say there is something or something is like 사과가 있어요, 꽃이 있어요, 사과 꽃이 있어요. And what if I want to say negative sentence of 이 있어요 or 가 있어요? Like English expression, there is no something or something is not. That is easy. We use 없다 instead of 있다. I put the ending words 어요 to 없다, so it become 없어요. You get the idea? So let's practice 없어요 compared to 있어요. 있어요, 없어요. 있어요, 없어요. 뭐가 있어요? 사과가 있어요. 사과가 있어요? 아니요, 사과가 없어요. 무엇이 있어요? 사과 꽃이 있어요. 사과 꽃이 있어요? 아니요. 사과 꽃이 없어요. Does it make sense? Okay, let's move on to the next step. What you're gonna do is making sentence 가 있어요 or 이 있어요 with place, location. 
It's like English expression, there is something in a specific place or location. The sentence structure is this, we already know. Ka isoyo, we just put a place or location with particle e between two words. Something e, location e, isoyo. Let's make a question sentence first. As I told you, question sentences give you more clear understanding. I'm bringing pronoun 어디, which means where. So there's a sentence 사과가 있어요, and I put 어디에 between two words. 사과가 어디에 있어요. 사과가 어디에 있어요. Where is an apple? As you see, an apple is in the kitchen, so you can answer 사과가. 주방에 있어요. 사과가 주방에 있어요. An apple is in the kitchen. And for this picture, 사과가 어디에 있어요? 사과가 접시, which means plate, 접시에 있어요. 사과가 접시에 있어요. But if you want to say 사과 is on the plate, how can we say on the plate in Korean? We just put the location word we, which means up or on top. 접시 위. 사과가 접시 위에 있어요. An apple is on the plate. We is the location word, and there are other location words in the Korean language as well. Up is front. Du is back or behind. And we is up or on top and 아래 which means below or under and 옆 which means side so let's practice together 사과가 어디에 있어요? 네 사과가 접시 앞에 있어요 사과가 어디에 있어요? 네 사과가 접시 뒤에 있어요 사과가 어디에 있어요? 네 사과가 접시 옆에 있어요 사과가 어디에 있어요? 네, 사과가 접시 위에 있어요. 사과가 어디에 있어요? It is funny, but just practice. 사과가 접시 아래에 있어요. Well done, how was it? We learned the subject particle with frequent expressions from the previous video. They are 누가 sentence and its answer. Something 이 아니에요. Something 이 있어요. And something E location E isoyo. Actually, E ka has more meanings and usages. Remember, we are in a basic grammar curriculum. Don't be hurry. It is better to learn each meaning one by one completely. So don't jump to the next video if you didn't make it. Just rewatch the video lessons seven and eight until you get used to it. Question of the day: Do you have mobile phone? If so, 휴대폰이 어디에 있어요? Where is your mobile phone now? You can answer to me like this sentence structure in the comment section below. And don't forget to smash the like and subscribe my YouTube channel. 안녕!